Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. In today's tutorial, we already started creating admin panel in section four, in which we created the admin management. We register the admin and we created a user of uh, admin panel with the role of admin and let that user to be logged in on a role based and no other user can access our admin panel. So we are going to start creating the admin panel now onwards. So first of all, before getting started with the place for you, we are going to create the four different cards of dashboard, which will be responsive for different type of desktop, tablet and mobile sizes. Okay, we are creating Flutter e-commerce uh, admin panel and inside this admin panel, we have already created or covered the five previous sections in which we learn different type of concepts that we are going to use throughout inside our web app course to develop or create our web apps. The first one was the configuration in which we created all the things, did all the setup. Then we move towards routing and navigation. We see the middlewares, how to remove the hash sign, how to deal with the URL strategies and bunch of other informative things. Third one was the responsive screens. These are very important and crucial sections. If you're new, you can watch the previous videos. Link is in the description. After that, we created the admin management and the last one was about the tables. Simple table, difference between table and data table, what is data table 2, what is data table 2 and paginated data table 2. So we have covered these things to create a professional type of table which will be dynamic. So let's get started with today's review. Okay, and here you can see currently our dashboard is running. We cannot see any sales from Monday to Sunday. There is no sale over here. If there is any sale in these dates, we will see some graph, but currently they're empty. Also, if we talk about the four cards at the top, we have a title, a price. This price is not good because we forgot to add the limitation that we are going to add now. Then we have the percentage going up or going down in red, up in green. Then we have the date. These are the static dates currently. So let's switch it to the tablet mode. So currently, we are in the tablet mode and when I'm going to shrink it, currently you can see we have two rows. In the desktop, we had one row with the four columns. Now we have two columns with the two rows. And when we are going to reach toward the font size, now you can see we have four rows with the one column. So this is what we are going to create. So let's get started. In the previous tutorial, we see the example or the re-example of paginated data table. We create this reusable widget. So and now because we are going to officially start developing our application. So let's remove everything that is unnecessary and we don't need it. We don't need this center widget. Also this table and the text form field. We only need a scaffold padding. And yes, on top of this padding, we are going to need another widget, which is single child scroll view. First of all, create the cross axis alignment to the start so that everything will be started from the left side. Okay, the first thing we are going to add is the heading of the dashboard. I'm going to use the text. The name is heading. Style will be the theme context. Text theme, which will be headline large. Remove this constant. Okay, after this heading, we need some space. Space, as always, I'm going to use the sized box with the height of space between sections. And the space between section is 32, which is inside the class T sizes which you can find in the utils sizes or dart all the sizes are defined over here okay now create the cards because it is the desktop dashboard if you remember this let's go back to the dashboard or dart and also over here on the left side you can see in the features shop we have dashboard or dart and inside this dashboard folder we have dashboard or dart we have a widgets folder table folder and responsive screens folder in the responsive screens we have three different classes the current D in which we are going to code the desktop design which is desktop dashboard and inside desktop dashboard we have added this heading and we are going to create the card for now but definitely we're going to create this as a reusable widget so that we can use it differently for the mobile layout and for the tablet layout so if you see this dashboard we are using the t site template and the rest of things are passed and just for the sake of overview this t site template is this one which is using our responsive widget each and every widget is explained in the previous videos so we have passed these three things okay now to create the cards in the desktop dashboard you can see we have one row and inside that one row we have four different cards so let's create a row with the children and the first thing that we're going to create or design is the card to design a card 
I'm going to use the T rounded container. If you follow the e commerce app series, in that we created this widget, which is a T rounded container. If you want to create it again, you can just scroll it a bit down, and this is exactly the rounded container that we are going to use it has a gesture detector for the on tap in case we need it you can see it is nullable then we have a container with bunch of properties and also a shadow if we need that shadow as well and then we have a child so i'm going to use this t rounded container as it is then using the padding property of this rounded container we're going to use agingsex.all and t sizes dot large to give some space around the card after that create a child add values inside the container and as a child i'm going to create a column because we have to stack elements on top of each other the first one is the heading and then we have a row so inside this I have created the T section heading and then added some space with the title as sales and text color is the text color secondary. First, see the text color. This is the text color we are using, which is a light gray type of text color. And then if we see this T section heading, again, it is a simple row with a text. And if we want to display the right side widget, which is currently not needed, so we are not passing any other widget to it. But as a text title, we are using the style of text theme, headline small, and then color is this one. Max line is 1, overflow is ellipsis so that we can make this text as responsive text inside the row. So using this widget, we will be able to display the heading of our card or the container. Then after adding heading, we will add a row property to add two things. The first one will be the value or the pricing on the left side and the right side will be the comparison. As a row, the first thing is to add a text. And in the text, I have just added the price to add this dollar as a string. We just have to add the forward slash. Otherwise, it will be treated as a widget, sorry, as a variable next to this text. So because we want to print this, that's why we have to add a forward slash before this dollar sign. Remove this constant, add the constant where needed. So the first thing is the text. And the second thing is the column with the indicator of percentage and down below that indicator we have a text which will be percentage or number so let's add it in that column add a children the first thing is we need an icon which is going to display the arrow up or the arrow down and then right next to it we will have a percentage of 25 percent or whatever the number we want to display so this is the first thing in the column the next thing is the text in which we have compared to december 2025 we have a style of label medium and then overflow is ellipsis by this way we have completed our card but to make this card responsive we have to make or keep this text into a size box with a specific width so that it cannot exceed the specific fit and our design should not trash okay now this uh, widget is created right starting from this uh, t-rounded container down below we have table over here we can create this as a reusable widget i'm going to create that reusable widget inside this widgets because we are not going to use this widget in other screens but if we are going to use them in other screens then you have to add that inside the common widgets but for now let's go to the widgets create a new class okay i have added this new class as t dashboard class and some of the variables that i want to reuse them you can see i have also added the on tap feature if required on top of the steel rounded container then in the padding we have a column and previously the title was static now i have a string with the title and a subtitle then again we can pass the icon the default icon is the same icon that i've used the color default color is success as you can see in the row, if the icon is displaying the up arrow, then the color will be by default green. And also the stats, currently it's a variable. Previously it was 25% and that stats will also be in the green color. As you can see, this color is same. This color, if the icon color is red, the stats will be in the red color. You can change these things as well. So this text is still static. Okay, now once we have this dashboard card widget created okay so this is the dashboard card and i did a mistake over here i added an extra build context which is not needed i don't know why i add this but remove it okay so our widget dashboard card widget is created now inside this t dashboard card we can simply add this t dashboard card add a stats title and subtitle and it should work as a simple card now let's try to run this application meanwhile the application is running we can simply press ctrl d four times in order to change or create the four cards in one single row okay so i've added the four cards with the different names different values 
now let's see okay our application is running the first thing we need to do is we have to log in with the credential that we added previously click on sign in okay so you can see we have four cards sales total average total orders visitors it is in the center currently we have to fix this as well and we want to make these cards cover all the available space so to make them responsive we have to wrap these cards with a widget called expanded and between these all widgets you have to first wrap them in the expanded widget and then add a space between all these four widgets now let's save it the space as you can see is the space between items which is 16.0 now if we open this and you can see all the things are perfectly fine we have an equal space between all these widgets we have equal space from the sides we have a space from the title as well and now let's try to shrink them so let's try to reduce the size and you can see the cards are perfectly being reduced and taking the available space and when we reach to the tablet threshold they are gone but when we back to the desktop you can see these cards as responsive cards now using the same approach we are going to copy these cards for the tablet mode which is the dashboard tablet mode first of all next to the scaffold we have to add all the remaining things in the body first add single child scroll view then as a child add a padding around the sides admin sets dot all use the default space and inside the spreading add a child property and now we have to add a column now inside this list of children's i have pasted the cards but we also need to use the heading and make the column direction to start so control or tell to align the code remove this constant import this dashboard now you can see we do not need a one single row rather of this row we have to duplicate this into two rows and we have to remove these last two cards so in one row we are going to display the two cards and in second row we are again going to display the remaining two cards and between these two rows we have to add the height of space between items so that it can look equally like we have a width between these cards the height the same height between these cards will be same which is 16.0 so let's save it okay so currently we are in the desktop and when we are going to reach to the tablet and you can see we have two rows and two columns so let's reach to the mobile and currently the mobile is empty but in the tablet we have the four sections so this time i'm going to copy the complete scaffold for the mobile replace the scaffold import the required libraries and this time we do not even need a row over here because we have everything in a single column so remove this and also remove this row and instead of the width we have to replace the width with the height so that we can get the equal space now save the code for the mobile screen so we have these three designs already created this is the dashboard or dart which has the desktop design which has the tablet design and the mobile design now currently we are in the tablet mode this is the desktop and this is the tablet and now and you can see we have an error in the mobile mode you can see the error which is render flex children have non zero flex but incoming height constraints are unmoded so what is this error let's go to the mobile screen and in here you can see we are using expanded but we do not have any rows in the column using expanded means that we have unbounded height because column does not have a specific height and for the expanded we definitely need some height limit otherwise they are going to keep on expanding so we have to remove these expanded here because in the mobile we don't even need them now let's save it and you can see the mobile version is in front of us this means that we have one column with the four rows or simply a one column without any row so this is the desktop sorry the tablet and this is the desktop it is working very fine and for the large screen you can see all the cards are working fine so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any questions you can ask me down below in the comments once again thank you for watching take care